Welcome, Gemini Cancer, to your May Asher Dice reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay. And for those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology and tarot and make a small horoscope for the month using only one of the 12 houses. Okay, let's see what's going on with you. message coming out is the seventh house Ooh. some Virgo energy with Neptune that Neptune energy going on over here this is where your fantasies yearnings longings and potentials for illusion come together this is where we're daydreaming trying to manifest trying to maybe even make on uh, mantras with our mind right instead of speaking it we're going to daydream it this is where we're longing for better things within our lives. Maybe fantasizing within the seventh house of this person that I would like to be with. Or the type of person I would love to have. Or, you know, whatever it is that you're daydreaming about. Winning the lottery. <laughs> Who knows, right? My business, I hope my business goes better. Right? <clears throat> okay. Longing. And we have Virgo energy coming out. It's going to be diligently longing. Wow. This is something that you, you daydream a lot, right? About, fantasize about, dream about, however. And you're putting in a lot of work. Let's just put it that way, Virgo. Putting in a lot of hard work in this. Something you probably think about a lot. You could even say that it might be a little obsessive at times for some of you. Excessive, obsessive, because it is something that you definitely want. So it's not just diligent, you know, I mean, you're diligently thinking about it, but it's not something that you're just, oh, I think I'll think about it for a minute and then put it away for a week. No. It's like I think about it in the morning when I wake up. Wow, I really want that. You know, I say my prayers in the morning, whatever. Take a shower, start daydreaming, driving, daydreaming. Something you really long and want. Something you're really on your mind. It's really hitting your, it's really hitting the, the root chakra, the sacral chakra, and definitely the solar plexus with all of your heart's content. This is not, and you probably, you know, intuitively have been creating this through your, I mean, I'm telling you, your chakras are in a row over here. The only thing you're getting into not having is the knowing, right? You haven't, you don't have the crown for it. That's why you're still thinking, right? And your intuition might be open a little bit to the situation, but it's not knowing if this is coming, right? Because you're still creating through the thoughts. Might even be saying it out loud in the car. I'm um, going straight into the seventh house. This is the area of your life that's long-term significant partners, romance, business, or family. I would love to have a baby. Can me and my husband, me and my spouse, you know, have this connection, have this baby? I want to have a baby. I want to have a family. I want this puppy that we're going to call our baby. I want this kind of puppy. Family doesn't always have to be children. It could be your cats, your dogs, whatever you think is family. Right? Everybody's story is a little different. <clears throat> Maybe you want a house for your family. I want to buy a house. Put my family in. So, I want to run a business. Or I want my business to boom. I want to find someone to be romantic with. I want a partner. Or I want our partner to be more connected. However, whatever the situation is, there's a billion out there. I'm not going to name them all. You know what your situation is, and you know, when it comes to the seventh house, what you daydream. <laughs> right? Okay, guys, getting straight into the situation. Situation's taking place in the beginning of the month, middle of the month, and end of the month. What are we doing? Dreaming. <laughs> Accelerated motion. I wished upon the moon. You could have literally done this. During that full moon, wished upon that full moon, wished upon the lunar eclipse. Shit, you might even wished upon the solar eclipse. 
the moon, the new moon last month, full moon last month, all these things, right? Waiting for your wish, right? To come true. Putting in all the extra longings, all the extra intentions, and keeping diligently focused on this wish, on this dream, on the Neptune. Kind of crazy. It almost kind of looks the same in some ways. You see this star here kind of shining down? It almost looks the same as this comet going across the sky or falling star, whatever it is. It almost looks exactly the same, but that's exactly what you're doing. Eight of Wands. Wanting my victory. Wanting my success. Manifesting with the eight. That's dreaming. Praying. Waiting for it to come into reality. I dream it and want it to come into reality. Underneath a Virgo. Virgo, please. New beginnings. Diligently working towards this new beginning of having this dream come to reality. Waiting for it. Feeling like it's coming. Wanting it. Needing it. The Fool card. Taking a risk towards it. Might even be some things that you had to even take risks towards doing it, right? I even did some leap of faith towards this dream. I invested extra time into my business, extra money into my business, extra time into my family. Partners, romance, whatever it is. But investing a lot of time and even taking some risks in the beginning of the month. Because I don't... This is not a person that said, I'm making this new beginning and I'm going to sit still. She's got a walking stick. That means she's going places. Taking that action. Taking those leap of faith. Diligently going strong. Virgo doesn't just sit down and say, oh, I think it's going to fall in my lap. There is times that it can be hesitant, right? Not wanting to move. But this is not saying that. This is saying, I'm wishing upon this star and I am moving for love. For the passions and the things I love. This new beginning. This new connection. Putting my heart and soul into the situation. These dreams that you're dreaming are not just some... Fly by night thing. This is something you've probably been dreaming about a lot. But the thing that I love about this is it's saying the chariot is on its way. Like I said, you can probably feel that the energy is getting a little closer. Something's about a pop. Is it exactly the way it's going to be in the dream? They don't always do that. I will tell you that. That's not always the truth. It doesn't always 100% be exactly that. Unless... You had some kind of premonition and seen it, right? <clears throat> they, sometimes they come a little different than exactly the way you imagined it, but it doesn't matter as long as it comes in, right? <laughs> it's like, I don't really care exactly how it comes. It doesn't have to be exactly the way I daydreamed it, you know, as long as the, it's here, right? <laughs> Just bring it me, right? <clears throat> Okay, fine. So it wasn't a house with a white picket fence. It was a house with a brown picket fence. But you know what? We can always paint it. <laughs> right? There's things that can be modified. Okay, guys. Let's see what's going on over here in the accelerated motion. Absolutely keeping it secret. Oh, I love it. I actually love that. I love it. Good job, guys. Good job. And those of you who watch my channel a lot, I tell you all the time... Keep your manifestations, your wishes, your dreams, all your things secret. Right? That's your hidden agenda. That's for you. It's not for the world. Because the world a lot of times just wants to bring us down. You're not going to find no house with a white picket fence. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe I won't in the end and maybe it'll be brown. But why you got to tear my dream down like that? People will and you know it. Well, I always say, when you wish upon a star, and we've heard it our whole life, when you wish upon a star, you don't tell anybody your dream. We blow out those birthday candles, you know, don't let anybody know what you wish for. That's your wish. 
So that way they won't tell you, you get a pony. Shh, parents are never going to let you have a pony. And you know what? Maybe in five years from now, maybe you got that pony. Maybe you moved and you got a pony. You don't know. Right? You don't know what's in store. This is because other people want to be selfish against your dreams. Or bring in shallowness towards your dreams. Right? Try to keep you disconnected. Make you feel like, oh God, you'll never get that. You know? It's not like I asked for a unicorn. Right? So I love that you're keeping that hidden. That keeps you from getting hurt. It, and not even so much you so much. And sometimes it does, though, hurt. It's like, wow, you don't have any faith in me that my job is going to actually do good and that I am worth a promotion? Wow. Kind of hurts your feelings, right? Or you're really down on my business that much. Your business is never going to thrive like that. I'm so sorry. You up into store? The 20 people you get now is the only 20 people that's ever going to come. I don't know what you're manifesting. Huh? I mean, what a horrible thing to say to people. People can be very harmful, very hurtful. And this keeps you away from harm and hurt and also harming and hurting your dream. So not only not harming yourself, but the dream and the manifestation itself. Because then it lowers as soon as you get hurt or they bring these things in like, you'll never have that. You get that in your head. Then you want to start thinking about it with your ego mind. Then what happens to your dreams? Oh, you're right. I'll never have that. Wait, what? So keep going strong, guys, and never tell people your dreams, okay? Unless it's somebody like your, your husband where you guys really want to have a baby and you can manifest together. You know what I'm saying? There's certain people you have to know who to trust. Be sure you really know that, too, because you have your Nine of Cups coming in, my friends. And I already said that. You can feel the pull of the Nine of Cups coming. You can feel the pull of the wish. Just within the reading, I can feel the energy. Of that coming to fruition. Keep yourself emotionally stable within the situation. Make sure that you're always having gratitude and always thinking the universe for the wish coming in. What I want you to do is, since you're already doing it and you're manifesting it, say, thank you universe for allowing my wish. Thank you for this wish. Think as if you already have it. Thank you. Right? Spiritual union goes from two of cups to ace of cups. And this is, actually, that's crazy because the ace of cups is a new baby. Somebody is manifesting a new baby. Somebody is working very hard. Very hard. To have this baby. Congrats on the new baby, because that baby is coming, and I know it. Somebody wants someone to propose to them, and wishing that they would propose. Someone wants to get married, or fix their marriage, or wants to find someone to marry, so they can have a baby, and have a family. Keep your love and compassion strong. Keep those chakras going, guys. You got the Ace of Cups. That's a blessing from the universe. So I just tell the universe, thank you for your gift. Oh my God, the mid-month you have the light, the sun. There it is, getting it all. Huh. There's the blessing coming through with the harmony, the love. Oh my God, this reading is amazing. Right? Communication. A lot of communication coming through with the change. Seeing the way you're communicating. This could be that baby finding out that you are going to be pregnant. Or that you are pregnant. Knowing that you are going to have that family that you want. Knowing that house is on sale. You know, to move your family in. Whatever it is, you're going to see that blessing come to light. It's no longer hidden. That chariot is coming out of the Neptune. Saying, here's the light. Reach for it. Feeling the love. 
all around you. Could even be some choices coming in to this situation that you may have to speak of or you may want to speak of what's coming in. Uh -huh. You might actually, you know, be able to speak, right? What it is you want. Speaking your mind. Now you can, you know, if you actually see it manifest right now, <clears throat> guys, because it's a general reading, right? Some of you are still going to be waiting, but you're going to feel that light coming down. You're going to feel rejoiced. You're going to feel blissful. You're going to feel this overall happiness and joy, you know? You can even be, if this new love comes in, you could even tell them, you know, I manifested you. They'd be like, you did what? <laughs> I manifested someone just like you. <sighs> the end. How beautiful is that? So let's see. Yep, bringing in the Ace of Pentacles. So now you got the Ace of Cups as a gift from the universe and an Ace of Pentacles on the sun, which the sun is already a blessing. This accelerated motion is the chariot, the fool. So you have one, two, three, four major arcanas. Wow. Wow. Oh, plus the high priestess. Five major arcanas, five for change. Ooh, I like it. Right? Making sure that you're giving yourself self-care, especially if you guys just find out in the mid-month between the 14th and the 20th that you are pregnant and what you've been waiting for, please give yourself self-care. Now is the time now to say, hey, oh my God, I just found out I'm pregnant. That's all I really wanted. Make sure that you are, right, taking care of yourself and that beautiful baby. For others of you, just give yourself self-care no matter what. We come first. That way we can give everything else to everybody else around us. We're not here to take care of ourselves. How are we supposed to take care of others, right? So it always comes with us first. If you have any kind of unpaid debts that are coming from your business, it looks like you're going to have some great news coming in with the Ace of Pentacles saying, here's, you're making more money. Here comes your customers so that you can pay those unpaid debts. Any kind of, you know, Business deals. You could have a promotion coming in to pay your debts, your bills. On the throat chakra, communicating and listening about pre preparation and progress. Yeah, expansion. Some of you may even have some overseas opportunities, other state opportunities. Coming your way with the Ace of Pentacles. They might be sending you somewhere else to a different business. If it's doing something with business, you may own your own business and want to send employees somewhere else. Maybe you're going to open another business as well. And now you've got enough money to really open the doors to the other business and want to send them to go work at the other business, right? <clears throat> Finally have enough to open the doors. But I'm going to take some of these people and place them over there. Okay. At the end of the month, you have positive movement forward with eight again. Whew. Manifesting. I tell you, you guys are manifesting. You are definitely longing and manifesting. Eight, eight. Right underneath the, the, new, the Neptune, too. That's so crazy. Prosperity begins. You're starting to... There it is. Ace of coins again. What? Prosperity begins as you're really positively moving. You really feel like you are moving. You really feel like you're moving in the right direction. You can see everything around you. Your emotions on the water are very stable. Look at that. You don't have no storms. It's the dawning of a new day with the sun coming out. The sun and then the sun at the middle. You've got your ships going out. You were waiting for your ships. Knowing your ships are here or about to arrive or preparing for the progress. And now here comes the I'm moving. Positive movement. From the three to the eight. Wow. Triumph and success coming out with the Ace of Swords. So now you got three different gifts from the universe. This is just a run over. These are just run overs. Meaning it started in the mid month and it's just going to continue to keep prospering from this Ace of Pentacles you've got in the mid month to the end of the month. 
So it's just a flow over, I guess we could say. And so you got three aces, three gifts from the universe. The last gift from the universe is going to be the opportunity to clearly see everything that's around you, be able to communicate what opportunities you really need and feel that you're a full force of getting exactly what it is you want with beautiful growth. And you're going to really watch the growth and the expansion with the triumph and success, meaning it is not going to stop. If anything, it's in the opportunity of continuing to grow, to succeed. Wow. Positive movement forward. You do have the page of swords where new ideas and new curiosities, the thirst for knowledge, the wanting to move, feeling a little restless from the energy as well. It's probably that sun though, too, coming through because you have the sun here and then we see it in this card as well. So it's just really bringing in those intentions and desires. The more that you know that you're, that you're getting this and it's coming to fruitation, the more you want to become curious about the situation. Even if it's the new baby coming in, you're going to want to, you know, start looking at baby stuff, right? Your attention is now drawn to whatever this is. If it's a new partner and a new romance, you're going to want to have the thirst and knowledge to really get to know this person. Right? If your business is thriving, you might want to get new business ideas and new business things going on. It could even be marketing ideas. What sells and what's, you know, what's hot and what's not. On the prosperity begins as the queen of pentacles going, you're very nurturing. Like I said, a lot of you are going to have a baby. So, you know, you're going to nurture yourself and nurture what you need. If you're working and now you're going to be considered a working parent because you're holding this little baby inside, this little bundle of joy, you're going to want to make sure that you're taking practical approaches to self-care and nurturing yourself, not overworking yourself no matter what. I don't care what stage you're at. Don't overstress yourself. Make sure you're you're really taking care of yourself. Eating better. You could be also finding new uh, ways to eat. Cutting out caffeines. Too much sugars. Caffeines are not good for babies. You know. If you know you like to drink wine, maybe you're going to cut it down to very small bits of wine or not at, until you get rid of it or not at all. I think it's red wine is the one, if you're pregnant, you can have a little bit of, my doctor told me that once and I've read that many times, uh, but it's a very small, small increment, of course. It's good for blood flow, that's what it is, it's red wine. It's good for blood flow. <clears throat> Okay, so, you know, getting rid of any bad habits or anything that might be surrounding your life that you don't want your baby to have. You know, you'd be looking up on those things. You could even be looking at ways to save money for the baby as she's the queen of pentacles holding on to this pentacle over here. Okay, triumph and success. You got the four of wands. Wow. Celebration, joy, harmony, marriage, home community and homecoming business is doing and thriving well in the community. You feel like you have a complete homecoming for yourself and it's a huge joy and celebration for yourself as you're, as you have reached your goal. And that's really what it is. You've reached your goal one way or another. Like even if you hadn't reached the whole 100% manifestation, it's taking place enough to where it continue to what build and grow to the overall dream and manifestation. Oh, you got to love that. Yep. Judgment has been called. Your time is now. Good news and arrival. And that is very healthy and very well. There you go, my friends. Till next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.